What's up guys, Champ here bringing another Infinite Warfare gameplay. Today what I got for you guys is a nasty gameplay on the map from the team. Playing hardcore. What makes this game so nasty is I use no score streaks as you can see. Or no kill streaks I should say as you should see in the right corner right there. You'll see I got UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV on. And I'm going to go ahead and still manage to get a 53 kill game using nothing but my gun to get all these kills. You're going to see that I go on two nasty gun streaks in this game. Quick ones too. I'm going to start off this game hot and I think that's what kind of gets me going is I start off this game hot and I thought I had a chance of possibly getting a deatomizer. So when I died, I, you know, I started to rush just non-stop. Just kind of got a little aggressive because I got a little angry. You know how that is when you're on a nice streak and call of duty, then you get killed. You start to get a little angry and you just start running around trying to kill everybody. And it usually doesn't work out for you. But for me, in this situation, it definitely did work out for me. Because I end up going on a nasty, relentless to finish this game right here. So def definitely watch that quick relentless like i'm talking like less than a minute maybe i don't know but i might be more than that i didn't actually time it but it seemed in my mind when i did it it seemed like i did it super fast so 20 gun streak super fast at the end of this game then i'm also going to show you another uh 56 kill uh, team deathmatch game that i got on the map terminal just because i wanted to show you a little more footage in this and i got a bunch of 50 kill team deathmatch games and i think i'm going to start posting just those. I'm going to call it like 50 pluses or something like that. And I'm just going to post a couple gameplays, maybe a week or so. Two of them a week, maybe four of them. Or just like one video with two of them on them. Just to show my uh, 50 kill team death matches. 50 pluses. You know, anything over 50 kills, basically. So, you know, I might get some 60s. I might pull it at 70 if I can get that. I don't know. After they're getting this 53 kill team death match using just my gun, I definitely think that I can pull a 70 kill team death match in this game. I mean, really, all I needed was 17 more. Had I had the warden in instead of the counter at UAV, I might have been able to pull that off. So the class that I'm running in this game is Quick Draw, Stock, Extended Mags, then I got the Ghost, and I got bla uh, Blind Eye. Yeah, I always got to put Blind Eye now. There's little mini turrets are everywhere, so I've been putting Blind Eye on. And then I got the ELO sight here. I like to have this ELO sight. I'm pretty sure I got Hardline on. Yeah, I got Hardline on this. Sometimes I'll throw Dead Silence, though. Switch it up here and there. Using the NV4 and Hardcore. Normally on this map, I would use a different gun. But in Hardcore, it really doesn't matter. The NV4 still does work. That little camper right there laying down caught me. But I'm going to get my redemption on him. Don't you guys worry. We take out this little micro turret. Those are the turrets I'm always talking about to you guys. Those things are just everywhere in this game, especially in hardcore team deathmatch. And it's not like you have to do anything to earn them. All you have to do is just put on the specialist and then just wait a certain amount of time. Here, I'm going to get my redemption right there. But yeah, just wait a certain amount of time and then you get that. So, you know, a lot of people like to put that on, just kind of camp in the back of the map, throw it up, see if they can get a high KD, like a, go 10 and 2 or something stupid like that. But, you know, everybody has their way of playing. It, can't really knock them for it. It does stink on this map when everybody's hanging out in the back of the map camping. It does make it for a hard game. But these guys weren't really doing that, which is why I was able to just come in and take them all out. I mean, they try to do it, I guess. Look right here. They're all in the back. And I'm pretty sure this is the gun streak I was talking about to you guys. So I'm going to want to... Yeah, this is definitely... I'm going to want a quick 20 gun streak to pretty much finish out the game. And then I'm going to finish strong on it. So I am going to die off this relentless right here, which stinks. But what are you going to do? So you just see, I'm just going to take out people over the wall, over the wall jump over here take another guy out i'm gonna get my advanced uav kill him turn around boom kill him i'm just taking people out left and right i actually miss him but i'm not gonna go for him got an ultra kill right there that just popped up i think i just took out two right there take out another yeah it just goes quick man i'm already on a roof list this thing's already over with pretty much Got a counter and almost another advanced UAV. And I kind of choked this at the end, but I knew it was getting close, so I had to stay rushing. And that's kind of how I started doing it, too. So once you start rushing, you should just stick with it. I thought that guy was downstairs. I did just see him on the advanced UAV. 
and then I just made a bonehead move, I guess I would say, right there. I definitely should have just waited for him to run by me and then kill them. But there's only a couple more kills left in this game, and this went by fast because I just completely destroyed these guys. Playing hardcore team deathmatch, 53 kill game here on the map frontier using no kill streaks. Like I said, I'm going to finish strong here at the end. I think I take a death. Yep, 99 to 63 and then that game is over i even had a teammate doing fairly well but i ended up 53 and 9 i did take some deaths in that game but that's because i just started rushing so hard after i took that original death off like uh i think i had like 16 or 17 kill streak to start the game so i thought i was gonna get that deatomizer so i got a little pissy after that but it ended up helping me and ended up making me rush around and kill everybody what I think really helped is that my teammates were kind of playing campy, laying back, and I wasn't. I was going after everybody, so it didn't really give them a chance to get in the game. It just kind of left me one on five, one on six, and I just did well. I ended up running through them. And in hardcore, you could do that sometimes, so that's just the benefits of playing hardcore. That two-hit kill thing just helps out. So now we got map terminal here, and I'm going to go ahead and get 56 kills in this game. I'm going to take some deaths in this game, but I go on two nice gun streaks. I'm going to show you guys those, and I'm going to show you just kind of like the nicer plays in this game. 56 kill team death match. Like I said, I'm going to start a series. I'm just going to show you all my 50 pluses. Nothing less than 50, I'd say, on team death match. I will show you other games randomly, like if I go like flawless, or, you know, if I get like a really high... KD game, a really high gun streak game. So I do like to show my higher gun streak games. I like, I think that the high gun streak games are more entertaining than just like the high kill game, where your uh, score streaks get all the kills. That's why I really like that uh, Frontier game that I just had because it was all gun kills. So that's more entertaining than uh, just like your warden in the air. No one even gets to see what your warden's doing. It just flashes the the kill streaks. Speaking of warden, I'm about to pick up the warden pretty soon or maybe I already picked up the warden in this game and I'm going to get some kills with that and that's going to help me obviously to get this uh, 56 kills here on terminal. I've been doing very well on terminal lately. The thing with terminal is you just got to wait patiently and figure out where the other team is. See I just picked up a ruthless right there. Now it's 16 kills and watch how I'm going to die off. This is actually kind of ridiculous. I go invisible and I get killed. I don't know if he was just pre-firing that spot, but whatever, you know, it happens. What are you going to do? So that's another time where I thought I was going to get a deatomizer, and then what do I do? I just start running around like a madman because, you know, you get a little pissed when you get killed off your deatomizer streak. I am going to take a couple of those deaths, but watch the end of this game. I'm going to go on a nasty gun streak again, another ruthless, maybe a little bit more, like a 17, 18 gun streak just to finish out, get another warden. Finish strong here, like I said, 56 kill, team death mat. Like I said, I am going to start showing you guys all my 50 pluses, or not all of them, I can't show you all of them, I'm making a video every single day, but I'm going to show you guys some of my better 50 kill team death matches, probably not with too much commentary, because there's really not going to be much to talk about in those, I'll save my commentary for some of the other games, like my how to get a high KD series, where I try to explain just little spots throughout the map that you guys can go to to try to just bring your KD up or just maximize your kills and lower your deaths in each and every map as you run through it. I also got some zombies gameplays. The new zombies is actually coming out tomorrow. Probably when I'm going to be posting this gameplay is tomorrow. So it'll be out today as you guys see this. And I'm going to be showing some gameplays on that. I already got the alien boss fight. You saw that jump shot I just killed that dude in the window with, which is pretty nice. I got another alien boss fight I still wanted to bring to you guys. I just never got the chance of showing you guys yet. It's really funny. But I do have lots of zombie tips. I'm not sure how great I'll be at the new one, but I'm sure I'll get good at that one too. And I have plenty of tips for you guys. So I'm definitely going to start grinding out that zombie map tomorrow. And also, the new maps are going to come out, so I'm going to play those and see if I can get some tips and stuff on those maps. But that's going to take a little time, because I'm going to have to play them first. I'm definitely not going to be able to just tell you guys where to go and what to do on those maps right away. I'd like to be able to play them for a little bit, make sure I get a nice feel for them, so I can get you guys the correct information, just so you guys can, you know, get a better idea of where to go and how to maneuver through those maps. And so we can get a high KD, you know. 
You want that's what it's about. You want to get those high kill games, low death games, and make sure most importantly you get your score streaks. Cause that's what Call of Duty is all about. If you're getting your score streaks, you're having fun. If you're dying one or two off your score streaks, your pride is going to be frustrated. Speaking of score streaks, there goes the warden right there. Like I said, I'm going to finish this game up strong, on a ruthless. I hope you guys like what you saw here. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to me at Champ Gaming. Got lots more gameplays coming. Lots of deatomizers already on the channel. Just scroll through the playlist. Check out the deatomizers. Check out my series on how to get a high KD. Check out the zombies. Whatever you like. Everything and everything. All Call of Duty. It's been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me. Good job. Report to command for debrief.